All right, Black Tree TV, it's your boy Jamal Finkley, and you would think we're at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because right here, right now, right tonight, on this red carpet, we're going to have Jimmy Page and Jack White for the world premiere of It Might Get Loud, and it might get loud in here because people are going to go crazy. So stay tuned to Black Tree TV. We're going to keep it locked. We're making history. Peace. This record at home of uh, a guitar that had a lot of sustain on it, and I and I and I, I got him to come down and have a listen to it. I said, "Can you get that?" And he went away and came back with this phenomenal thing: distortion pedal, which overloads the signal, overdrive the sound, and make it sound pretty rude. This documentary seems to cover three generations of rock and roll. What do you think the next generation of rock and roll has for us? Um, I, what, do I, what do I think it's going to have for us? I think it's going to have the same commitment, the same urgency, and, and you know, attitude that it's had all the way through, right from the, the 50s when they kicked it off. That's impressive. That's great. It was a single cutaway, and I had a, this brilliant luthier in Seattle, uh, Randy Parsons. He made it a double cutaway for me. And then I said, well, listen, I have an idea. Can you just, can you put a silver, uh, a green bullet harmonica mic on the guitar so I can just take it out and, and right there? It was something uh, I was always grabbing a microphone on stage and, and bringing it over, and I wanted to be just. I move around so much, I thought it'd be nice to just have it right, right, ease of use thing, right, right on the body of the guitar. So it took some struggle, but Randy uh, Parsons, he's here today. You know, Mike, the Luthier built his guitars for me. And, uh, he put it together. It's incredible. We got it out of an old vacuum cleaner, uh, uh, retractor cord, you know, retractor cord out of a vacuum cleaner. So. I got this echo unit and I brought it back to rehearsal and just got totally into playing but listening to the return echo. Filling in notes that I'm not playing, like two guitar players rather than one. The exact same thing, but it's just a little bit off to one side. I could see ways to use it that had never been used. Suddenly, everything changed. Uh, I'm a fan of music, so uh, this movie just sounded like uh, something I'd love, and it was much. It was it was better than I ever thought it would be. It's unbelievable, brilliant. Film. What, what, what's your feelings on Jimmy Page and Jack? How have they influenced your your life in general? Well, it's sort of like oxygen. You know what I mean? Like when you're a kid, you grew up, you have that kind of music. It just sort of becomes part of who you are. I can't imagine not having it. It's like all the only thing I know is that music you know, in my life, like kind of all of us. So it's just, uh, it's an amazing thing to watch the process. Thank you. I drive everyone crazy trying to get the sound that I can hear in my head to come out of the speakers. It's my voice, that is my voice. We're going there to have a chat, but it just so happens that the instruments are there as well, so who knows? I plan to trick both of these guys into teaching me all their tricks. It's going to be very interesting. When the three of us get together, what's going to happen? Probably a fist fight. The 
This is the hall where Levy Breaks was recorded. This brings back some memories. I play a really old guitarist, plastic guitars. The neck's a little bit bent and it's a little bit out of tune and I want it to be a struggle. This instrument was just calling out to me. 20 minutes in this store just to find the sound of the band. I love effects units. And it's very rare that he will use the same sound in 23 songs. This is what I'm actually playing. The rest is the foot pedal, the effects, the whole thing. Might get loud for a second. We're all attempting to share something with another human being. Every night that we went on stage, it was living, totally living. Total commitment, getting across what you wanted to say. But it, it just comes from a, a creative spark, really. That family of storytellers. You're supposed to join the family, become part of it. That's why I took up the guitar in the first place. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who says you need to buy a guitar?